morning, sunshines. What's up? Welcome to day three of the 35 day challenge. And we're continuing with lesson three. Oh. <coughs> lesson three. <clears throat> I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. Apply this idea in the same way as the previous ones, without making distinctions of any kind. Whatever you see becomes a proper subject for applying the idea. Be sure that you do not question the sustainability of anything for application of the idea. These are not exercises in judgment. Anything is suitable if you see it. Some of the things you see may have emotionally charged meaning for you. Try to lay such feelings aside and merely use these things exactly as you would anything else. The point of the exercises is to help you clear your mind of all past associations, to see things exactly as they appear to you now, and to realize how little you really understand about them. It is therefore essential that you keep a perfectly open mind unhampered by judgment in selecting the things to which the idea for the day is to be applied. For this purpose, one thing is like another, equally suitable and therefore equally useful. Again, you're supposed to do this for a minute this morning and then later this afternoon or night, one more minute worth of it. The question once again is, or the statement I should say is, I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from this window in this place. Move it outward that way. And in regards to day two of the Hope book, day two is courage. Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. That's Winston, Mr. Winston Churchill said that. <clears throat> courage comes in the face of fear and other distractions. All those who are considered courageous overcome obstacles and get the job done no matter what they are feeling. As I reflect on the times I have used courage in difficult situations, I see that my actions are easier when I spent time in quiet each morning. I see that my actions are easier when I spend time in quiet each morning. Sometimes you are asked to act in courageous ways in response to threatening events that could harm another or yourself. You are courageous. You are a courageous being. Winston Churchill had a good point. Courage is the ability to both stand up and speak as much as it is the ability to sit down and listen. Courage is your strength in fearful or challenging circumstances. Reflect on the courage you demonstrate. You are not on the road of transformation by accident. You are here on purpose with a purpose. This is a time for you to celebrate the courage you possess. The daily application for this is to honor the courage that resides in you. Bring courage to light at the right time in the right way. Ponder ways you can support courage in others. And namaste. <laughs> Have a great day.